Hello everyone, my name is The Fox. This video is how to get the best battery life out of the Steam Deck. I'm going to show you four simple techniques. I'm going to demonstrate it against two games. Before we get that, I did want to show off the new 60 FPS cap. Now, this is something that I mentioned in my preview video that users could inadvertently be wasting power by not having VSync on. But with the new 60 FPS cap that has been enabled on the Steam Deck, this is no longer possible. So we go into display and I take a look at VSync. You can see it's on. Now, if I go ahead and turn this off, this would be a bad setting previously but you can still see we have a 60 fps cap here there's nothing that a user needs to do and more importantly there's nothing that a user needs to worry about the system accidentally wasting power in this specific, uh, specific situation so you can see we're using 11.2 watt right there but now if i go ahead and go into this little hallway you can see that power is going to start to jump because we're still going to be maintaining 60 fps however because we're drawing more stuff on the screen, we're gonna be using more power. What this means is that dynamically, the system, regardless of VSync on or off, will always be using the correct amount of power. This is a really big feature and it's super awesome to see. Okay, with that out of the way, let's show you what a default situation looks like. Okay, so in this particular situation, we're running at 800p and we're trying to target 60 FPS. You can see that in this particular situation that we can't quite hit 60 FPS here. As a result, we're actually pushing the system to its absolute max. We're using the entire 15 watt TDP. This is relevant here because we can take a look that we're using about 25.3, 25.4 watt. It's important to note here that no amount of movement or anything is actually going to change this amount appreciably. So battery life wise, how much power we're using wise, it really isn't changing in any drastic way. We may use 0.1 watt or 0.2 watt more. More to the point, if enemies or anything else came on the screen, frame rate would actually just go down. So one thing that we're gonna do here is show what this looks like if we're just trying to target 60 FPS, but we're gonna lower the resolution and see what that does for battery life. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump into options. I'm gonna go into display. Thankfully, I can show you this part. We're gonna go to 960 by 540. Now, before I had shown what this looked like with the screen blown up, it was actually stretched out so you can see it on your entire monitor. The reason why I wanted to show this on the Steam Deck is that you can see that image quality wise, when you're playing on a handheld, it really isn't as drastic as a lot of people make it out to seem. Now, we did move from a 16 by 10 resolution to a 16 by 9 resolution, so there is some letterboxing going on here right now. However, if we take a look at our battery life, we're actually using around nine watts less of power in the same situation. If we take a look here, you can see I'm using, let's just say that we're using 16 watts of battery life here. Now, if there were more enemies and stuff that came on screen, because we're running at a lower resolution, we'll be able to use more power to draw more stuff. Yeah, you'll be using more power as enemies and other stuff come on here. But if we take a look at just the scene difference itself, going from 800p to 540p, we're using about nine watts less. So in this particular situation, before we were getting around 90 minutes of battery life, and just with that one small change, now we're getting two and a half hours of battery life. So that's an hour increase in battery life. And visually, image quality wise, it really is hard to see on, on a handheld. When Before when I was showing that, it could exaggerate some of those image quality differences. Let's say you want image quality, but you're okay sacrificing frame rate. So we're gonna go ahead and put this back to 800p. Now this part I can't show you uh, because it's gonna be using the Steam Deck feature, but I'm gonna go ahead and enable 30 FPS mode. All right, you can see we're back to 800p here. Now going in the menu, the power use would have drastically fallen down, so we're gonna have to even out and show how much power we're gonna be using at this particular time. Give it a second while that evens out. All right, so here we are, we're sitting at around 13 watt now. So we're using, we're getting full image quality here. So this is 800p, we're still using low settings. However, frame rate is now locked to 30 FPS. We're using GameScope to lock the frame rate because there is no frame limiter available on control. At this particular setting, we're getting around 13 watt of total system power. What that means to you is this is now around three hours of battery life. So now what happens if we combine these? What happens if we go to 540p and 30 FPS? So we're already locked into 30 FPS. I can just show you what this looks like by going into options and going into display. Go to 960 by 540. All right, now you can see that we're at 540p 30. So we are running at 30 FPS and the resolution is 960 by 540. More importantly, you can see that the amount of power we're using is around 11 watts. So you can see 10.8 10 watt right there. What this means to you is now we're getting three hours and 30 minutes of battery life. So these are some very easy changes that you can make to drastically increase battery life. And for what it's worth, I mean, if we're just talking about image quality wise, I kind of like going down to 540p and 60. And in that particular situation, we get two and a half hours of battery life. That is a really nice way to play. But if you are okay running at 540p 30, you're gonna greatly extend your battery life and play for a longer time. 
So that's pretty much it. If you wanted to play at 800p60 with the new 60 FPS cap that is implemented on the Steam Deck, typically you're going to be getting around two hours of battery life. If you were to go to 540p and keep 60 FPS, you're easily going to get two and a half hours of battery life. If instead you wanted to just toggle frame rate and you did 800p30, you're going to get three hours of battery life. And if you decided to do both and did 540p30, you're going to get at least three hours and 30 minutes of battery life. Let's go ahead and take a look at Ghost Runner. Okay, so this is Ghost Runner. We're using the default settings, which are pretty high settings. Uh, we are trying to do 60 FPS here, so it is still full resolution at 800p. You can see that we're using 24, around 25 watts of power. Once again, this would be 90 minutes of battery life if you were at 100% battery. If we go ahead and just change a few quick settings here, we'll go into video, we're gonna to go to AMD FSR, and we're gonna do ultra quality, which I really like. At that point, you're at 616p, not 540p, so we're still a little bit higher than 540p. In this particular situation, the only thing that really stands out is stuff like text in the background, things that you could recognize that will start to become apparent that there's some image degradation. However, if we take a look at power, I'll kind of fast forward this part just so you can see where that gets to. All right, we seem to be leveling off right around here, about 19.5 watt. So we saved roughly six watts of power in this particular situation. Now, here's the interesting thing. Uh, one thing that I would people would like people to kind of pay attention to is that if a game has an, a built-in frame limiter, right now I'm set to unlimited. Watch what happens when I set this to 60. You can see that my CPUs just boosted up like crazy. So now my CPUs are going nuts. Even though we're not really effectively getting any better frame rate, but we're using a tremendous more power on CPU, thus we're going to actually be using more power here as well. So we just used ooh, two extra, almost three watts more power here just by saying frame limit 60, the in-game frame limiter. So make sure, the only thing that I would say, instead of worrying about V-Sync, uh, the only thing that you should pay attention to, let me get back down to it, is the built-in frame limit. So we're going to go back to unlimited here, save that. And then our CPUs are going to calm down at this point, even though we're still getting 60 FPS because the frame limiter is fully in charge at this point, and our, our total power that we're going to be using is going to be going down. So we're at 60 FPS, we're at 616p. What happens if we were to go down a little lower here? What's nice about this is because it has FSR built in, the presets here are very easy to quickly and rapidly change through. So this right now is 400p. It's half the resolution of 800p. All right, so at this point, you can see that our GPU is really, like, sometimes it goes down to 200 megahertz. Like, sometimes the GPU is just like, eh, I don't need to, I don't need to render this at all. That's how strong the GPU is. Our CPUs are mostly in check. We're down to about 13.8 watts, so we shaved another 8-ish watts off. At this particular point in time, we're almost at three, uh, three hours of battery life. If you went down to 800p60, uh, 400p60. Now, in this particular setting, uh, on a handheld, you can see the image degradation. It becomes super apparent if we take a look at the text up here. So this is not a particular setting that I would particularly say that you should do. It is available to you because of the in-game FSR settings. However, uh, doing ultra quality does save a significant amount of power and is also still very good quality-wise. However, let's go ahead and take this off. And now instead, let's take a look at 800p30. Okay, so once again, I have unlimited frame rate selected in game. However, I'm using GameScope 30 to target the frame rate. Let's see what the power goes to. All right, so now we're using around 13 watt. However, the frame rate is now at 30. We're using GameScope exclusively to force this frame rate. At this point, we're using around 13 watts, so this is basically three hours, a little bit over three hours of battery life in this particular situation. Let's see what happens when we instead try to use the in-game frame limiter and see what kind of power we get. All right, so you can see the frame limit is at unlimited, but instead I'm gonna target 30. Okay, so I have now put GameScope back to 60, but I'm using the in-game frame limiter at 30. And if we take a look, take a look at our frame pacing here. It's actually a little bit worse by using the in-game's frame limiter. So once again, I would really recommend to leverage what GameScope offers. So like you can just see me just moving around here, what that means. So I'm gonna go back to unlimited and enable GameScope again, pay attention to the frame limiter. Okay, we're going from 30 back to unlimited, save that. And now take a look at that frame rate graph. Still getting the same amount of power, but we're far better off using GameScope 
to limit the frame rate as opposed to in-game frame limiters. And now this may be different across different games, but it's something that I would advise you taking a look at and kind of looking at yourself to make sure that the frame pacing feels as it should. Okay, so we showed all the different modes for 60 FPS. Let's go ahead and lower the resolution at 30 FPS. Okay, I'm gonna once again select ultra quality here, which is a setting that I really like playing on the handheld and see what that does for our battery life. All right, so we're effectively using like 11.3 watt, 11.2 watt. This is roughly around three, three and a half hours of battery life. Let's go ahead and see what happens if we lower this even further. All right, so now we're at 400 P30. The trespasser is in the air ducts. Careful now. They'll be waiting for you. Initiating the sensory boost. Focus. Dom, go for the kill. Well done. But you won't last long in this state. All right, we're at effectively 10 watt of total system power here. That means that we would have around four hours of battery life. Mostly I just wanted to kind of demonstrate that the power is uh, in your hands to kind of dictate what type of total system power you're gonna be using and that would affect what type of battery life it is. It's very easy across even big games to get down to get four hours of battery life. Now also there's other types of settings which I didn't even go in and show. I just did very basic settings with just resolution changes. This game is already set to like its max settings. So if you just lowered any of these particular settings, that would also boost battery life because the GPU wouldn't be as hammered with at higher resolutions, right? So this is just like ultra quality, just low resolution. So there are a lot of ways to look at this and the ways that I'm showing you is not the only way, just showing you how easy it is to increase the battery life on the Steam Deck. All right, before I sign off here, I just wanna say that I'm gonna be doing a live Q&A with the Steam Deck Discord. All questions are going to have to be asked on that Discord for me to answer them. If you care to participate, it's going to be February 25th, 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Hope to see you guys then. This week is going to be pretty awesome. This is going to be my last video before the 25th as well, so don't anticipate anything more from me. I'm going to be in full review mode and trying to get a lot of videos ready. All right, that's going to be it for me. As always, guys, thank you for your time, and thanks for watching.